Hello there everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, Synthesia here and today I'm going to be looking at um, some more CC. So this video is actually going to be for like clutter, decorative, um, like wall coverings and all that sort of thing and loads and loads of different ones that I would class more like decorative items than there's a few like functional items but this is more like for the decorative side of um, the items that I've got. So um, I've got quite a few as you can see here but I'm going to kind of, I think I was going to start off like up here with the wall coverings so I have loads and loads and loads of pictures I absolutely love like wall decorations and um, wall coverings a lot of them um, are from a creator called PTS um, you guys might have heard of them because they do a really famous uh, in the sims community famous uh, pack the rustic romance pack and the cottage garden pack so I think that PTS stands for Plum Bob Tea Society if you're like, looking for it so um, yeah, that's a lot of my stuff is going to be from them. But yeah, I was just going to scroll along and we can have a look at some of the um, pictures that we've got. Um, this is also from PTS as well. This is like a little hose which I absolutely love for the garden. It is beautiful, like very ornate, very nice looking. Um, we've got these as well. These frames are like ones that stand on the ground. I do like the effect of these, especially on a shelf. These are actually, I think they're smaller when you place them. I think I've blown them up a bit bigger so that you can see them properly. Um, but this is by Simcredible. Um, a very, very good creator, one of my favourite creators. They've got a couple of swatches on there. And then um, a lot of these, I've got quite a few of these 18th century paintings, but that is mainly because uh, I do a lot of um, Victorian builds, I like to build like castles and palaces and these really fit in with that so I've got quite a few of these um, so I looked very uh, far and wide for these like 18th century sort of looking pictures because I couldn't really find many but um, I've got these which there is so many different options like so many different pictures that you can uh, choose from and the same with this I like the um, the landscape but they're very traditional like let's see that the very traditional looking pictures like painting is a better way to put it um so these are really um really nice um pieces of art i suppose you could call it and they actually come with um frames so you can place the frame over them as you wish and the frames have loads of different um swatches i have i'm gonna have to um check when i do the description for this the creator of this because I can't remember who the creator is. It doesn't say on um like on the thing uh who the creator is. All of them are zero as well. They're all free. You can get like quite a few different ones. I don't know if I've placed these down somewhere but there's lots of different sizes and things and they are free. Like you don't have to pay for them which I really like that. Um we've also got down here another one by some credible these floor paintings as well. Um, they do quite a few of the pictures I've got but there's so many different pictures that come with this one um, I really like that one especially those are very nice for like a studio type build you were doing or something and then we've got like this little frame with and again like very um, it's most incredible too but it's a very 18th century looking floor painting I like floor paintings so like I've just said I really do like them but moving on um, these ones by M, M Xims, I think that you pronounce it these are some of my favourites too. They are very abstract looking pictures. Um, very like, almost like, look like geode. I think that's the way you call it, like a geode. Um, very, uh, like a, a rock, you know, like uh, beautiful um, pictures. And then they've got like these as well, which are like a little bit abstract. Um, a little bit plain, but like very minimal. I like those as well by the same creator. And then these as well, I think they're by the same creator too. These are like a big polish, like stones, pictures of stones, like uh, as if they were photo uh, photographed, which I really like those, like on the canvas as well. Those are really cute. And then um, we have these as well by the same creator. They make a lot of uh, pictures. Um, and then like they've got loads of like different um, swatches with different designs these are all the same but like with just a few i'm just trying to show you guys like some of the designs because there's so many um but i really do like those too they're very um i don't know what the word is like they're very uh modern if that's a term for them like modern art and they'll do these little pictures as well i think they do these too uh 
yeah, they do like an IKEA frame picture, and then they do like some more um, abstract art, um, some people basically, um, which I quite like as well. Depends on the build, but I would definitely um, use those. And these as well on the floor um, are quite nice too. And then they do, I think these are number two, yeah. They it comes on a shelf. You can't remove them from the shelf. Um, but it's nice to have them already on that shelf. It's quite uh, useful to do that, you know, to have that there. Um, and then they have like again, like those would be really nice in a kids' room. Um, they have quite a few different um, styles, I suppose, for that. And um, this one is a, one of my favourites too. These are both from the Inkle Nursery set. Um, which I talk about in my other video that I did yesterday which was about the furniture that I have in my game um, and I use these not just in the in a nursery but they're very cute little prints um, they are nice in, nursery, in the nursery but I really like those as well um, and then um, I got a couple of wall decorations sort of like dotted within um, these uh, pencils for like a kids room as well from Simcredible are quite cute and then um, we've got some more art by MX Sims down here. Um, that's a recolor, I believe, of um, maybe I think it's a Novas recolor uh, of like another one of the frames I've got, but I, can't, I don't know where it is at the moment. Um, but yeah, that I like those. Uh, they're very like modern art basically. And then we've got like these hanging mugs from PTS2, which they're nice in the kitchen. They're very um, Maxis match. They look very nice. Um, these are some of my favourites too. The Coco Chanel like pictures from Simcredible. These are all Simcredible, but there's different sizes of the same pictures. But there's like lots of different ones. Um, again, very modern, minimal looking pictures, which I really like. And you can change them, the frame colour too, and stuff like that. Um, so those are cool. And there's a the smaller versions of them on here, um, which would be nice in like a kids' room too. These are like I think these are meant for like a kids' room so they're cute too <laughs> and um another pts reef pts have a lots of like reefs and like they're things for weddings so you'll see them dotted about um but i really do like them from the rustic romance pack um and then this one from peacemaker is a really nice like um frame standing frame very minimal again uh, I do like a lot of minimal art and it's just because it's very easy to fit in with the builds I do. Um, I do have some like more specific type of arts but those for the most part of what I have. Uh, okay, These are from the um, Buffsome Mila, um, Mila Living set. So uh, I talked about that yesterday as well. It's um, like a set with loads of shelves and things but um, these are quite cute little prints. Um, that they do include in that set too and then these are more wall decorations from the nursery set so you get like these little stars and you can like move them around to however you want like obviously I can move them with that so with the alt button <laughs> so it can make them like a shooting star it's quite nice for a nursery I really do use those a lot I like those and this is probably one of my favorites this um, Mila painting set it's like very Class, um, classy like very elegant looking pictures um, fits in with again like a lot of different scenarios when I'm doing like builds they fit in like a lot of different rooms which I really like that too um, and then we move on to these which are um, I think they are recolors of maybe I, don't, I can't think if they're recolors but they might be um, but there's like loads of different ones uh, that you can get um, and I might tell you the creator on here no um, I think it's on my tumblr account the creator of these I think I retweeted that um, for you guys to look at if you want to look at my tumblr I've got a lot of CC on there as well okay and then PTS Cottage Garden set comes with a lots, lots and lots of these like framed prints of like animals and uh, plants so they come in the framed version they come in the tacked version like that and then they come in like a uh, tapestry version and I think they're all the same you can like choose if you wanted it to be just like clipped up or you can have it like in the frame if you wanted to and there's different like lots of different ones um, to choose from like mainly fish and plants I think that they are um, so those are cool and then you also can get them in these very small little um, boxes as well 
um, which I really like those. Uh, these are quite like nice for a rustic build um, for the inside like for a botanist kitchen or something I would use them for so I like those and then we've got uh, this it's incredible painting again very minimal like that and um, some more like framed images from Simcredible these are these would be nice like a teen room I really like those and this board as well is by the same creator which is really nice um, and then we have like some of Harry's heritage recolors here for like more this this towel is patterned but she's made it so it's just one color um for like all the shades I really like how she's done that um and this is the towel that comes with this set as well you get like a little towel which is nice um and then this is part of the nursery set as well like this little um little two little frames which um I love those like they're very cute with a little uh, cat and the rabbit very cute for a kids room um a lot of the um i'm just going to scroll over a lot of them like i said you guys can look at the creators as i scroll over if you were interested in them uh, particularly i'm just going to show you like some of my favorite ones so a lot of these are incredible which is a uh, tsr create i think they've got their own website as well um that's from the Harry and Felix Andre's bathroom pack. Uh, where they have their own like toilet roll and their, I think, no, yeah, they have their own towel rack. Um, this mailbox I love is from the PTS set. Um, a couple of like wall um, panels, like these wood panels from Seem Credible too. They're really nice. Um, all Seem Credible again. I think all these are yeah, they're from Scandi Fee, but all all of these are Seem Credible. This one is a really nice towel because it's uh, I like the texture of it. It's a bit different to the ones we usually get. Um, so that was by Shino, a TSR creator as well. It's incredible again. <laughs> it's incredible. It's a hanging purse um, and uh, the bathroom hand towel. And this is from the kitchen set by Harry and Felix Andre, like the chopping boards that lean up against the wall. I really like those. Some PTS hanging buckets. Love those too. Um, this one is another print from that set we looked at a minute ago, but just like a larger print, um, I think. Um, I know it isn't, it's just a hydrangea. Um, but it's it's very rusticy again, like very neutral looking, it's quite nice. Um, PTS again. So this one is like a embroidered, uh, like little circular thing um, <laughs> for the wall, a wall decoration. And the wreath is also PTS too. Um, and then these impressionist paintings this somebody had made like all the sims worlds in like paintings so um they are they are really cute uh like different the different images from like the different worlds of the sims um again i don't know who i don't know what the creator's called and uh, maybe ruby bird i think which they're they're cute i like those um this one as well this is a nice framed like uh, minimalistic print frame um with I think those are the same creators that did the posters maybe I'm not sure but I think those are on Tumblr too um, these are my absolute favorite um, items I use in my modern builds and I use them in all builds I just absolutely love these uh, pictures um, there's so many different like a watercolor very blurred very like arty I love this shade but these are peacemakers um, pictures and I, I adore those they're like canvases they're really nice um, and these are from the Charlotte bedroom set by Space Sims, which I discussed as well in my other video about fit the furniture. There's a furniture set that they um, have, so um, that's quite good. And then um, it's Incredibles um, Lantern as well. And these hanging baskets are from PTS. They do a lot of like um, wall decorations, as you can see, which are really nice. Like the wreaths and everything are really cute. And then all of these are from um, the same creator. They're like art from different um, different ages here. Um, I think that I'm going to have to check on the creators of some of these arts because I can't remember who they are called, um, like what their name is. So I will find out and it will be in the description if you want those pictures. Um, these are by Shino down here. Um, some very like art decory pictures uh, which are all very, um, again, like a bit some like older art like for a, you know like for an older build and then this one again is by the same I think this is by that person that did those impressionist Ruby Bird I think their name is 
This is from Simkia, it's just a very simple picture. You can change the thing. Um, these are uh, some Nordic. Oh, they're called by Termo. I think that the thing is to. Um, no, it's not. I can't remember the creator. I've just downloaded these because I liked how. I downloaded a, a room set off them from the Scandinavian Living Decor set, so I will link that below too. Some more by Shino. I really like these. This is one of my favourite pictures as well. This is PTS's fancy painting. They've got people, but they've also got these lovely landscapes. This is my favourite landscape. It's just beautiful to have up in the house. Um, and then some more of these art um, arts we've just looked at, um, which I like those. We've got some home office art from the Bulger's Home Office Wall set by Lulu. And um, these are by PTS as well. Uh, these little like Star Wars y style uh, portraits are really cute. And these are from some recolors from the Heritage set. Um, this palm as well is from the same set as these were. So there was some, uh, some like artwork in that set that I downloaded basically, which they're quite cute. And then um, you have these which are um, some more PTS portraits and another Harry Heritage set. Um, now we're kind of moving on to mirrors. So this is a mirror from the Eleanor bathroom set so it actually goes over the top of a sink that comes in the set from Space Sims but it's quite nice when you get it all set up. I just wanted to include it because it's part of the CC that I have and you probably can't see that it's a mirror because of the way the floor is like you can't really tell it's a mirror but it is it's like a, a mirror that you can attach on something you might even be able to attach it on to a fireplace yes you can so you can put them on top of the fireplace as well which is really cool i like that anyway we're not going to go over there we're going to stay on the, the mirrors <laughs> so these are all from the harry bathroom set these massive mirror walls which are really uh very nice like almost very opaque looking mirrors um, and then you've got some more Peacemakers mirrors, so these are from the Hamptons Hideaway set, and some Credibles um, bathroom sets mirror, which regenerate set, which is beautiful, like that. And then some of these standing out, these are like more for outside, I think, some standing mirrors for the outside, for the cottage garden. Um, and then we have these, which are by PTS. These are very, I, I, I downloaded these again for like um, a castle build. Um, but I really do like them. They're very gothic looking mirrors. And then we have another Simcredibles there. And this one as well by Novas is a very nice mirror. Really like that. Um, all of them come with um, a nice... These don't come with swatches. But most of them come with like a good range of swatches. Like these as well. You can get like a darker set. Darker one and that sort of thing. Um, this is a recolor uh, by Harry Heritage set. And these are from Simkia. These are like I use these a lot because they're so simple, especially in bathrooms, that sit very nicely on the wall. And I really like them. I really like how they look. Um, and then we got uh, some more peacemakers. Um, another peacemakers mirror, and some Art Vitalex Petra mirrors. I really like those. They're from a set too. And <clears throat> Sorry, I think my voice is going. <laughs> this is Sheena's Revolution mirror, which is really nice as well. And Peacemaker's Starburst. I really like this style of mirror. Like the, it looks like a sun. It's really pretty, and it comes like as a lot of Peacemakers do, do come. They come with like loads of different swatches, which is great. Um, this one is like a warm mirror from the bathroom. It's like a shaving mirror. Um, from the bathroom set by Harry and Felix Andre and then these ones are from the heritage set as well some recolors there and this one is from the Space Sims bedroom set I really like how ornate the mirrors are um, they're really pretty and this one I really like this one too um, I can't remember the creator of this let me just check and see if they've left it in there oh yes it's from the Sims 3 conversion from what the Sims by the GMR 7 they do like some conversions of the Sims 3 which are really cool um, this is one of my favorite mirrors I'm gonna pull it out because I just left it against the wall but I really like this wall mirror it's from the Harry Heritage set as well I like how they've how she's done it it's beautiful a beautiful mirror um, these are from her bathroom set as well um, like a thinner version of those so they've done like thin version and um, thicker version these are for the um, space and um, Eleanor bathroom set so these again they can go up like up the wall um, at the sides of the sink and they look really pretty um, to see I might be able to get the bathroom thing out so you might be able to see it I think I 
probably should show you guys that because I'm talking about it but it's hard to explain uh, what I mean so if you had the set you can like lift the um, oops you can lift it up to sit on the side of the counter and then grab this mirror here and lift that up as well so they so it makes like a big unit um, for like a really fancy bathroom there you go so that's just a rough I haven't like lined it up properly but that's roughly like what it would look like um, so they all fit together and it looks really um, like a, it's for like a very big bathroom obviously but it looks really nice and um, we've got another bathroom mirror from um, Harry from the heritage set as well another heritage set and I think those to a heritage set as well yes they are and this one as well I love this mirror it's from the Hamptons Hideaway set by Peacemakers and like I said they do always include loads and loads of swatches for their mirrors and for their decorative items which I really appreciate Um it makes a job like if you were doing a theme colour it makes it a lot easier to do like a themed room uh, which is great then I don't really have that many curtains but I thought I'd show you the ones I do have so these are all from the heritage set um, by Harry as well and this is like a drape from the Rustic Romance set you can like set it up um, you can put it on the wall or you can like have it coming off the wall and um, it's just for like a wedding -y type thing and these are from the bathroom set by Harry as well these are like almost opaque not opaque uh, translucent curtains so they can see through them a bit so the light can come through there's a thinner version of that as well and there's also some like very small versions of these um, and then the only other curtains I really have are these by PTS from the Rustic Romance set which I really like because they are slightly see-through and I love the shape of them and then these are the Charlotte curtains from Space Sims set so I like those as well um, so that is all of my wall decor I believe and we're going to just quickly move on to plants so I'm going to show you the outside plants and stuff I've got first I haven't really got that many because I like to use the debug items more than CC for like the plants and things. There's a lot of debug plants you can get, which is really cool. But um, this comes with a rustic romance set. So this is um, this giant tree with it's got like I don't know whether you can see it properly um, unless I kind of try and tilt um, tilt down and gone. Um, you can see it's got like drapes over the branches which is really really nice and it very weddingy I like that and it comes with loads of different shades as well but I'm just gonna move it because I can't see what I'm doing um <laughs> and then uh, really I've got a few wall coverings so I've got the wisteria from the um the PTS cottage garden set um which I I do like those and the climbing clematis from the cottage garden set which is kind of like a bit of a re no, I don't know if you'd say it as a recall of what's already there. It's kind of a little bit different. Um, and then these barn doors as well, um, which are from the Cottage Garden set by PTS. And then these brambles from the Cottage Garden set, which are nice because they've got like a little, a few leaves on them. Um, and then this recolor of the window box. It's got loads of different shades, um, loads of different shades compared to what's already in the game. And then I think these are PTS as well. Yeah, these are both PTS. So they're like re colours but a little bit of a restyle um, which is nice and then we've got these as well by PCS's Cottage Garden set and then these uh, like blue belly sort of things as well um, which I like those and they come also comes um, the set always <laughs> I'm sorry the set also comes with these stepping stones by um, which are, you can place around like uh, move around where you want which is quite cute and like a few like rocks and they come with these like edgings as well and but I what I really wanted to show you was the planters that it comes with so it comes with this planter which is like a tree stump which is fair enough but it also comes with um, sort of like a restyle of ones that are already already there but you can um, stack them together as long as you want and make like a big tray instead of just having the single trays like how they already are and you can also make like a big square which is really really nice and I really like those because you can have like all of your plants in one big thing instead of like loads of scattered things um, and then we've got these which are like just the rocks without footprints by Dream of Dove um, which are quite good and they can walk over those as well um, so the this is by Harry I was going to show you these two things these are actually already in the game um, from the that's from the jungle park. I think that's from the jungle park as well. But she, um, 
she's edited it so it's you can have like a plain green instead of just the purple um and then this one as well i think it adds more colors um to the current stone that that's already there which is nice to have more options so if we move on to the indoor plants i've got quite a few a few items that are plants but i'll first just quickly show you um these because i forgot to show them yesterday so i've got um some functional objects from some credibles which i really really like them this is um chest table with um this cage underneath which is functional and it works and it's really nice and this easel as well this is one of my favorites it's got like this lovely uh, glass back which I really like that too and there's a couple of bars I've got from the Rustic Romance pack and then from the kitchen set by Harry which they kind of like this one is very um, traditional looking like nice for an outside uh, event and then this one blends in with the kitchen that's already there which I really like that too okay so we'll move on to um, the plants I've got um, they're all mainly by the same creator but we'll just go through them one at a time so these are some Incredibles breezy plant bags they are um, you can move them around the wall, they're a wall plant and I use these a lot too, I think they're very nicely designed, I like those too. I really like hanging plants so they also come with these um, hanging fern plants, I think they come with these as well and oh, that's not, that's it. So they come with these hanging fern plants, they have hanging plants in the in the debug menu but I would really like if they actually had hanging plants in the in the game without it being CC, that's what I really would like. Um, then they have uh, the kitchen set by Harry and Felix. Andre comes with these hanging planters for each uh, size of um, room. So there is a short, long, tall, like short, tall, medium planters, which are like how the plants are all hanging out of the boxes. That's really cute too. I think I've already just shown you that this, this on the outside, and this as well. I've shown you them um, on the outside of the the build. Uh, <laughs> And these are from the bathroom pack by Felix Andre and um, Harry as well, which they're really nice. They're like um, a planter with like, uh, you could use that inside. It's like an inside planter, but it creeps at the wall, which I uh, really like the st the design of those. They're really nice. Um, this is from the bathroom pack too. It's just um, a nice plant. It's almost a little bit like the uh, movie hangout plant. I like that too and this is from the kitchen set by Harry and Felix Andre and then we move on and most of them are from um, like these mason jars are from PTS but most of these I'm just going to hover over them are from the Incredibles various sets they do a coastal flower set um, and you can just get all these like different vases with different flowers and stuff that's one of my favourite plants that one um, which is really good because um, it kind of filled my game up. These are from PTS, these tiny tins, and then there's like some planters and some harvester balls there. You can't really see them, I might move this. It's from PTS, this stacked um, hanging basket arrangement. Um, so there's like some small things from PTS, these um, various sets as well. Um, I think all of my plants are from Simcredible or PTS. So there is a lot um, as you can see buff some did a um, cactus as well and there's a couple of like vases from buff some um, sets so and some credibles as well um, not some credible um, some Kia <laughs> and uh, PTS again and yeah so I'm just showing you them these are quite good because these are on my tumbler but you can like pull the um, different sizes off the vases and like they come separated so you can choose like you can map, mix around what you wanted them to be on so you can like have the little flower but you can also have the pots which is really nice a really nice um, idea all of these are part of that set the breeze um, set I think that it's by um, Nynaeve or if that's pronounced right it's on tumblr if you take my tumblr it'll be on there and a couple more plants from the kitchen sets um, and all of these, like I said, most of these are PTS, um, or like from, um, these are Peacemakers actually. Uh, I like this orchid, it's be a beautiful orchid, really like that. I'm just going to like hover over them though so you can see who they're by. Um, this is one of my favourites too, this bucket like spilling out, it's really cute. Um, and um, it's another one that I like, oh this is it, this is my absolute favourite um, item of <laughs> like plant eyes from this orchid it is beautiful it's by peacemaker hampton hideaway set it is it makes any table look amazing it's just ridiculous i love it um so yeah these are 
some more of the things I've got. So I've got like quite a few plants. These are separated off as well so you can move them into what pot you wanted to which is really nice too. Um, and yeah that's pretty much all of the plants I think. Um, so those are the plants basically. I don't want to spend too much time because I've got loads and loads and loads of like other stuff to show you but um, yeah those are all the plants I've got. I really do like plants and I really, or I'm really, i always looking for new plants so you see, <laughs> just really like it. Um, these are from PTS, these are like Dragon Pillar and the Dragon Sculpture. Um, I used these in one of my uh, builds I did recently, it was a palace build and I wanted the sculpture in the middle and these are the couple that I could find. I like those. Um, and then these are like more of the vases and decor objects again so I'm just going to hover over them so you can see who they're by and if you like see anything you like you can just like pause it. This made me laugh because this is from Simkia Furnishings and it's like the store but it's broken and then the instructions for assembly which I thought was quite funny. Um, these are all from the Hampton Hideaway set, um, Peacemakers vases a lot of them are. Um, a lot of them are PTS, like I said. This actually comes with the royal, uh, the royalty mod, and this one as well. Um, they're just nice for like if you're building a castle again. And these like um, fireplace tools by Sheena, I really like. That's from the royalty mod, like a gold bar as well. And I think that bag is too. Yeah, they're all from like the royalty mod, um, which is cool because you get like quite a few things um, with that. Um, as you see. Um, this is one of my favourite things, this little rocking horse for a child. I really like I like how it looks and there's like those are different shades. It's really cute. Um it's by it Lin's Lou. Lin's Lou, I think it's from T S three. But I really like that from a child's bedroom, you know, it's really cute. Um and these at MacBooks are quite cool as well. Um I'm gonna show you in a minute. I've actually got a functional one. Um but these are nice, like you can place them on any table or any service they can go on instead of like having to go on the desk, which is really cool. They're from um, M MX Sims, uh, I'm just going to call them because I can't pronounce it. Um, a lot of these as well, like from the nursery set, so these are all from the Inkle nursery set and um, these beautiful like pillows and like blankets and um, that sort of thing. And then this is just Incredibles wicker box, but you can like put uh, like the blankets in there, which is really nice. Um, and then these as well. These PTS um, signs I absolutely love because you can label like what um, where your plants are. There's like loads of different um, options, so you can like just stick it in front of your plant to say you know like what plant is in there, um, which is cool. This actually hangs on the side of a cot. Um, these are from the Novas set. So all of these are from Novas. I love this. I think this is for posing mainly, but you might be able to just put them in it, I don't know. It's a, a bouncer for a toddler, but I really love how it looks. It's very, very nicely done. Um, and then these as well from Simcredible, these like little shoes are really, really cute. Um, a lot of the ones coming up now are from a tea set by Simcredible. So they're like, there's loads of like different um, tea things, so, like cakes and... Um, I lost my words, uh, tea, like teapots and that sort of thing. Um, so these are all from like different sets. So the tea time set, um, there's loads of different sets that Incredible does and they are really, really good because they add loads of like clutter especially to your game. Um, so all of these are pretty much by that creator. Um, and then these are from the PTS set. I really like the open book, it's like a recipe book, but it looks really cool. Um, so yeah, and the mason jars too, I really like how PTS adds those um, from the Cottage Garden pack. They add so many things from their packs, it's ridiculous. It's like downloading, I don't know, like they add like 70 items per pack, I think, um, which is kind of kind of ridiculous, but it's, it's really good at the same time. I can't believe it. Um, and I love these DVDs by Buffsome as well, from the Mila set, and you get like um, you can like stack them up. I think you get like books as well. Oh, there they are. So you get like some books with like titles on, but the DVD is a really nice addition. Um, and then we have like some home office files and some boxes from the Baldridge decor uh, set. Next, um, we're looking at some more of PTS's stuff. So they did like quite a few like cake stands. Um, I don't think. Yeah, so like, I love these cake stands, there's that one as well, um, and these as well, these are all like cake stands, I think, and this, um, you get like this reading, um, 
it's like a, a lap tray for like reading which is really cute i really like their like kitcheny stuff that they do as well i think that comes with the rustic romance pack um so you can have like a rustic cake i think there's a cake actually we'll get to it we'll get to it i'm getting carried away so let's just carry on looking at these so um these are all um those are from the rustic romance set but a lot of these are from the kitchen set um by um harry and felix andre and they add like all these glasses and stuff um which you can use in your kitchen which is really really cool these books are actually some of my favorite um cc these vintage books because on a bookshelf they look absolutely beautiful but these are from peacemakers hampton hideaways pack they are really really cute and then there's like just a random toothbrush holder here for some reason i don't know why i put it there but it's there and it's from the bathroom pack but yeah i love these um books and then bathroom pack adds like a few candles as well i really like the candles they add um this is a she knows um she knows uh candle set and this art deco clock too and that is art deco bowl um and then like they add some mugs um and like some stuff like some vases and things for the kitchen um it's a soap dispenser and things those are really cute all by Shino. Um, we've got this kitchen bread basket which I really like and um, you can actually do this sort of thing with um, debug as well as these they're already in the game so you can just do those yourself with debug but it just does it for you which is a lot easier than having to find them and stack them through the debug option um, and then there's like this little soap from the bathroom set and then some more plates this little book um, little watering can is like so cute as well like for a baby to use in the garden um and then we've got like some kitchen pots and um kitchen bowls and chopping board and yeah these these uh these could actually have gone like over there um in the scenery like pictures and stuff but they're really cute they're like more like table standing um things from peacemakers which i really like um i showed you those as well and there's like this little box from peacemakers set hampton hideaway set um these little vases a lot of these are just vases and like other stuff but this is really cute i really like this it's um, um, an actual dvd player and like obviously not many people use dvd player anymore but um because of like netflix and stuff but i really like the design it looks really good on a shelf it's really really nice to look at um these bookends as well they look really really cute when you put them on a, sh a bookshelf i might be able to just show you like in the middle I'll put those there you kind of turn them like that so um, they're like G.O.D. bookshelves, uh, book ends basically to hold the books up which looks quite cool. Um, these are from the bathroom set just like some mouthwash. Now these, um, these that's from the bathroom set too, just, it's in the middle of all the stuff. But these are really good because they're from PTS's birthday set um, that they did. And basically they, they work, I believe they work as um, actual musical boxes. They actually do play music I believe. Um, which is really really nice and then some credibles and a few I think we've just seen some they do like a few separate shoes um, which is interesting because like you could have them on a shelf and like stack them all um, onto a shelf so it looks like you've got a shelf of shoes um, uh, if you had a walk-in wardrobe for example which is nice um, this uh, is from the bathroom set again and then this egg carton is from the chicken cube that I use in my farm live set so you can actually sell this to make money off it you get it off the coop which is cool um this wedding cake is what i was talking about so you can actually if i can find them you can actually place them on the uh cake stands so it's nice like if you're getting married um soon i'll be doing like a wedding for my pokemon series and i'm going to be using probably going to use a lot of this rustic romance stuff because it's so cute i just love it um this chessboard i actually really like too it's um just it doesn't work but it's just like nice to have as a decorative item instead of having to have a chess table um which i think is pretty cool um I meant to put all the pillows together out here actually i'm just going to move those so i don't get distracted by trying to talk about them i want to talk about all the pillows i've got in in like you know all together um this is by the same person to um tuomo i don't think it's by tuomo i think that's the set that it's called um it's by somebody else but i'm gonna have to find out what their name is too i keep forgetting all these creators and i want to give them all credit for all these amazing things that they've made um that's from the pts set it's a dragon um embryo i don't know it's for the for the, i don't know something to do with that um the wellies as well are really really cute and um the 
candle like I said for the bathroom set now I really like these because they all come all together so these are um, again from the same creator that has done these other things I don't know what the name is I will find out um, but these um, case clutters they make it very easy just to place them down um, which is really cool and I really like how there's like little vases and plants and stuff there's like quite a few different ones you can choose from I really like those they all come in a set together um, these are more recolours I think from the bathroom set or oh, some key furnishings bathroom towels and then some like bath more bathroom towels and that sort of thing from the bathroom sets and then if we just move quickly on to what's left there's some um, spices from some credibles time to plug which we'll see in a minute um, when we go on to another room um, but yeah so we've got like uh, the breezy lantern from some credibles um, keep calling them some credibles I don't know why it's actually just some credible and I'm really sorry but it yeah <laughs> Um, a couple more um, vases and like other decorative objects so you can see we've got like quite a few uh, of that sort of thing these as well I wanted to show you separately I've just left them out here and um, let's put them over there for a minute because I'll show you those in a minute when I go over there um, this clock is a recolor Harry's recolor and then there's like this Hampton's hideaway very tiny little clock which I really love this is um, a tablecloth from the PTS Rustic Romance set so you can just put it over the top of a square table and change the color oops um, I don't know why it's floating now it sometimes does that you have to do it a few times for it to work um, but I really like how that looks on there and then we've got the bedspreads and the pillows so these go on like any bed um, these are from Space Sims and like this bedding as well um, they, they fit on any bed very nicely these are for like over the arm blankets by some credible um, especially their like their armchair um, their corner sofa that I showed in my other video they go very nicely on there now there's a bed canopy as well which is really nice um, which goes over like the Charlotte set which this is the Charlotte set um, the more fancier of the two which um, I do like that and now these other pillars I have so these pillars are used to um, decorate a sofa so if I just pull one out um, so you can see me do it um, I don't know which one to use I might just use one that's actually already in the game because it just makes things easier but you can see it, what it's like so I've got a couple of sets here so these um, most of the boys incredible again but like obviously that's a little bit too small that would go on like a bigger sofa but you just like rotate them how you want to put them um, you can put like these on there um, by moving them up and they just make the they give like a better effect of like what um, is already there basically um, there's like I've got loads and loads so Shino, um, Evelyn the Nursery um, Toddlers, some Credibles Toddlers set some Credible, some Credible um, these are some of that I use a lot because they go on the giant sofa that comes with the, the set um, and those are really good and these are all from the nursery that's from the bedroom set as well and then there's a the Hampton Hideaways pillow and the Sheena's Art Deco pillow but they all come with like loads of different options for you to choose from um, so they can style anything really there's like plain options too so you can just have like a plain white cushion if that's what you wanted to do but it just makes the sofas look a little bit more alive than just being like a plain sofa without any pillows on so those are all really really good to use um, quickly onto the rugs um, I don't really have that many rugs these are going to be like the divides and the rugs and stuff so uh, divides wise a lot of them are from the bathroom pack um, by Harriet and Felix Andre so all of those are and then there's these glass separators by Simcredible which I really like and use a lot and these bamboo separators as well which are really cool and then they actually include like a column as well um, which is pretty pretty nice looking it's very rounded and very nice um, it's from the bathroom set to like a towel rack which is really cool um, I just keep saying everything it's really cool I don't know what else to say I just, these are all things that I enjoy in my game um, this is from the breezy set too. Um, I assume where is it? Um, let me zoom out. I see if I can grab him. You can hang your plants off this, so that's the idea. It's like um, a little um, roof decoration that you can like hang things off, um, which I really enjoy that concept. I think that's really nice. Um, then we've got a few rugs, so I'm just going to hover over them so you can see who. Um, they are by um, probably my favourite rug is this one from Simcredible it's like a very thick furry rug 
it's very nice especially under a bed um, but I don't have that many rugs really um, and a lot of them are recolours anyway I do like the rugs that come with the base game so I don't really use that many rugs but that is all I've really got um, these are just quickly as well the fireplaces that I've got so not many again but I do like CC fireplaces this is probably my favourite one this Hamptons hideaway fireplace it's just very modern style very nice these two are recolours um, by Harry, Harry and they're from the heritage set and then this is like um, I don't know what you call these it's like in the table um, fireplace um, by some credible and then this one as well you have to have city living for but it kind of goes in the middle of the room um, very modern looking fireplace for like an apartment or something and this is another one of my favorites this art deco one by Shino um, because it's so I don't know it's just very tw 20s um, a lot of them have like different swatches I'm just showing you quickly um, which like I said before it's nice to have a big variety of things um, I forgot to show you this well these at the back these are actually like the fair rides I've talked about before in my videos if you've watched them before but these ferris wheel and actually a roller coaster as well um, which is too big to put on this lot at the moment but um, they're very you, they work basically and the animations are brilliant for them I just wanted to quickly mention them when, before I forgot and then in here we have um, a few more things from Simcredible Simcredible did a set where they made um, kitchen appliances they don't all function some of them do some of them don't they don't all function but they look very very good and they're very good for the kitchen so they're called time to plug set um, so there's like some toast and things but there's also like these sandwich makers, omelette makers, um, popcorn maker, citrus juice, rice cooker, toaster, um, loads of different things that come with the pack. Um, actually I really like how you can use it to clutter up the kitchen and I had to put this on the surface, this is one that does work. This like coffee maker that they have in their pack, this espresso machine which is really cool. So uh, that was worth mentioning, I really think that's one of the better packs. Um, buy them I really think adds a lot in terms of decoration and then this is for the Rustic Romance set these balloons I absolutely love for a child's room they're from the Toddlers Pack by Simcredible and they're like hang from the roof but they're really really pretty um, and there's like different shades that you can have for those too um, yeah those are, those are really nice um, a couple more things by, like may, most of these um, things are like I said by PTS or by Harry and Felix Andre. This one is actually um, really cool. It's like a jar with like an egg in it, and it's supposed to be like a dragon's. Oh, it's not a, an egg. It's a heart. <laughs> it's a dragon's heart jar, but it's really cool for like I don't know. Again, like if you wanted to do an old sort of style build, this bin as well is really cool with a home design magazine in um, from that creator, and. Um, yeah, these as well, these PTS Rustic Romance um, items are just, just really, you must have them, like they're very, they're max is match, um, but they're very versatile, you can use them in lots of different scenarios, and you also get like these candles at work as well, um, which is really cool, and you can move them to be like stacked in together. Um, and then a couple of mason jars and things as well. Now I do have like some CC plants here. Okay, you can't really see them, but um, they are by. Uh, let me just check. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> oh no, I'm really rubbish about like some of them. I really remember. Some of them I just don't remember at all. But um, they, uh, you can grow them basically. Um, they're like meant for wines like. Um, Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, Sauvignon um, and then rice um, you can use them in your fields and stuff if you had a farm that's why I've got them for my farm and then I've also got this chicken feed for the farm sort of stuff that I use um, this I forgot to show yesterday again this is a bookshelf by um, Severinka for the Evelina Nursery and it is absolutely gorgeous I really like it. I just really like it I think it's really cool um, and we've got like a pack, a stack of logs from the cottage garden set, and another little globe. Um, now this is what I wanted to show you first before I go on to the um, MacBooks that I was going to show. So I've actually downloaded this, and this is like a kids' kitchen, like a toy kitchen for um, toddlers. So you can there's a I don't think any of it works, but there's like fake. Um, fake fridge, fake ovens, fake microwave and fake cutting boards so it's really cute because 
um, I kind of miss that in um, I don't in TS3 they had a little baking oven and things and I kind of miss that in the game because there's not really much for them to do like a lot of the time my to toddlers would just spend on the tablet which isn't great so I thought that was really interesting that someone's made that and um, let me just check the creator I don't want to like leave you in the dark about who made it I think it's by Rhea uh, yeah I think it's by a creator called Rhea uh, but I'll obviously link everything below now this is the Mac these are two MacBooks so the one is functional and you, um, not functional and you can move it around anywhere um, but obviously when you move the screen does jitter sometimes um, but this is actually a functional one and it's by the same creator MX Sims but um, it does work and I really like how they've added that in like so you can have the two options of um, using those so that's cool and now finally we are on to lighting so I've got quite a few lighting especially wall lights I really like um, the neon lights and things but um, all of these are by Novas so there's loads of different signs as you can see um, all by Novas these like um, bright um, neon signs. There's also some more, but I didn't include them just because, like, they they have like swear words on them. I didn't want to put them in the video, to be honest. So yeah, and I don't. Yeah, I I didn't want to do that. So <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. So these are the um floor lamps and stuff that I've got. So these are by Sheena from the Cologne Pack. Very modern looking style. Seven Rinkers outdoor candles and everything like that. I've got a lot of candles. They all work as um lights, but I, like I said, I'll just hover over them. So you can see the creators. Um, this one I probably use a lot is Art Deco lamp. I really like it by Sheena as well. Um, it's really really nice. Um, and this peacemaker's genie lamp as well. It's so big. It's just it fills a room, makes it look really um, modern. Um, yeah, so I'm just hovering over these so you can see them. These are um, some more recolors from the heritage pack as well. Um, and this lamp as well, I really do like. It's very modern um, for the floor. It's Vice Incredibles, um, sort of like their pack that they did, um, which is cool. And a couple more, like these side lights as well, I really like using. Um, I think, uh, yeah, so, the, so these balloons, um, these are working lights, but they're from the Evelina nursery set, so they're meant for like a kid's nursery, but they work to illuminate a little bit, which I think is a pretty cool addition that you can get to. Um, again, a couple more um, her heritage recolors. This actually made me laugh because I used to love this tripod floor lamp, and then um, now they've added in with Tiny Living a quite similar looking one. Obviously it's a bit bigger, but I always wanted it in the game, and then we got it, so that was really great. Um, and let's see, so some Kia's photon light. Um, all these are from the kitchen pack. I love these like pendant lights um, that come with it. Um, yeah, so we've got quite a few different lamps. I u I do use these lights a lot because they seem to be a lot brighter than the ones that you can get in. Um, I struggle with a lot of the lights are not very bright, um, but I like the look of them. So these, this is why I like them. This, this is one of my favourites too. This chandelier, the rustic chandelier. I love how the plants all drape off it. That's really cute too. I think I've shown you all of the hanging lights. I can't think. But anyway, these wall lights, um, I absolutely love these garlands by um, Severinka. So you can, they're like they don't drape down as much as the ones that come in the game. Um, and they're sort of like attached to the wall. They're like very, very. Um, they're flush with the wall. I really like them, and they come with loads of different colours too. Um, loads. Well, not all of them. Some of them come with different styles, um, which that's really nice too. Um, and then finally, we have like just this ring um, thing, this ring light. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much. I think I haven't missed anything. That is all of my um, decorative clutter that I have in my game at the moment. There might have been a few pieces missed, but it's because some of them have to have like other things to work with them, and like uh, or like because they you have to have packs to work with them. So yeah, this is all of my um, decorative CC that I've got at the moment and I hope that you guys like the CC that I've shown you and I hope that you guys want to download it because these creators have done an amazing job on all of these items and I just 
I can't believe that they do all this for like the community. It's just absolutely amazing. So I will link below all of the creators that I have featured, like in my video, and you guys can go and check them out and find the links um, for each individual thing. A lot of them are sets, so that's quite good because you can download like a lot of objects in one go. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and if you enjoyed this, I have another CC video that I did yesterday which is for um, furniture items and that sort of thing in um, this, in my game that I have at the moment and also I do like other CC hauls for, um, there's one for kids and there's one for like adults and stuff that I've got on my channel so if you guys want to check that out then that would be great. So um, if you like this video please subscribe and um, give me a like to know that you enjoyed it and I will see you guys all tomorrow in my next video. Bye guys!